Beautiful, talented, elegant, these actresses have managed to win in the ruthless world of Hollywood. Discrimination, racism, refusal, despite disappointments, they have shown patience and perseverance to achieve their dreams. They have become true icons of beauty and fashion for a generation. Sometimes actresses or models, they are able to do everything and dazzle us every day. And as soon as I got done, I called my manager and I said, tell them yes, I'll do this. I'll do this for whatever they want to pay. And he said, well, there's a little problem. They don't want you. I just wanted to see if you liked the script. <laughs> Character <laughs> Olivia or Your the character. actor Carrie? <laughs> um, Carrie ran. To Carrie ran. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't tell you. Uh. False. And I was like eight or nine. I was the only black girl in my class. I was taller than everybody. I wore glasses, um, and I went through a really awkward phrase. I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. People don't make albums anymore. They don't make albums. They just try to sell a bunch of little quick singles and they burn out and they put out a new one and they burn out and they put out a new one. People don't even listen to a body of work anymore. I see her as tormented. I, I see her as um, unwilling to let go of of an idea or of a feeling. And my family is the most important thing to me, so Minnesota is special just because of that. But also, Minnesota is where I developed my work ethic. Um, you know, when he got into the NBA, he didn't have any money. He was, you know, pretty close to poverty. Um, and then he's retired. Now it does look okay for himself. But he's like, what is this place? I really like water. I know that sounds lame, but let me explain. Um, I gave up coffee this year. People think it keeps you awake, but I've learned that I like tea. Great friends, and they help each other through a really tough time. It's about different forms of infidelity, and my character, April, has... Um, I didn't have any crazy actual sex excursions within the show, but I did have a scene where I had to explain a sexual excursion, and it was very nerve-wracking because my mother is like pretty much my acting coach, and mm -hmm. she's like... When she hears about this murder in the town, and she goes to uh, get the scoop. And she also has a tie to Detective Carver. She uh, was the lead reporter on another... Uh, I wrote this article for Glamour magazine where I was highly critical of like how naked everybody is publicly right now from...
think I think it's one of everybody's favorite moments where in in the heat of the night where he slaps Rod Steiger back because it wasn't in the script, it wasn't planned, it was just how he felt. I love black men, I'm a black woman, um, and I, I definitely don't discriminate. And it's really just about um, being open. You don't always choose who, who you're with. I mean I mean, I, I think that there's so many causes in the world to support. Yeah. I think that whatever moves you, but I think that this is important because these are, you know, this is the future. These are our young girls. So anything that we can. She was, the 80s were not really known as a decade for fashion, and my grandmother was so into fashion, and um, she would make us these like huge and awful outfits, but then every time... You know, it's an interesting, I have a, I, I, it's a bit of a dilemma that for me, as an actor, because, you know, on the one hand, it's really fun to play this character who she's just not interested in the guy, you know. The weather's terrible. Yes. <laughs> Um, I didn't drive when I first came here, so uh, yeah, it was it was a bit of a so nightmare. You didn't drive at all. I didn't drive at oh, all. Oh wow! I, I learned. I had a few lessons on like. I was nervous because a lot of people had said to me, "Pilot season is you know it's mm. very full on," um, but it was fine actually. We you know we didn't go in for everything and just kind of. And I was in Shreveport, Louisiana, on the set of The Oval Office, playing Condi. And two weeks later, to the day, I was on the set of The Oval Office, playing the president's daughter with Danny Glover as the president. I don't know if I have a favorite moment, but I definitely love going into the fires and like breaking down the doors and saving people and having to drag the the hose. I really love anything that's super. I've always been a, a black. I mean, that's period. I, uh, my mom, who is white, she was the one who always said, you're black, the world's going to see you as black, and you need to know that. And, and those are the people that are going to... So good. Everybody was so lovely to work with. I keep telling everybody that in Hollywood it's not always that way, but there was no divas, no bad attitude. Everybody was really excited. Maybe that we're not real people in a sense, but we are. I'm approachable. You can talk to me. Maybe they feel like they can't talk to them. <laughs>